You wake up in your hotel room ready for another date. Good morning, Chance. How are you feeling today? Oh, my head is pounding from those drinks last night. Sorry to hear that. I heard you had a pretty good time, though. You're right. Things got a little crazy, but it was fun. Anyways, I'll leave you to get ready for your date today. Do you have any advice for today's date? My advice is to follow your heart. Make the decisions that make the most sense to, for you, not for anyone else. That seems like a good advice. Well, this whole thing is about you choosing someone, so whoever you're meant to be with will line up with what you want most, right? That makes sense. Thanks, Tris. Anytime, Chance, but now I have to get going so you can make your date on time. You enter the hotel lobby to find everyone is gathered. The group seems very tired except for Jasper who seems alert. So the next one on the the next one on one date will be with Bane. Yeah. However, choice is of utmost importance this season, so chance it's up to you. Will you go on this date or skip it? I'd love to. Let's go, Bane. You're in for a great time, sexy. I better go get ready. As you go to leave, Merrick sneaks up to you and slides a note into your hand. You open the note that Merrick handed you. Hey, this is Merrick. I didn't know if we'd get a chance to talk today. I just want you to know that I miss you and that I can't stop thinking about our date. I keep replaying it in my head, getting to know each other on the yacht, walking on the beach at sunset together. Most of all, I can't stop thinking about how much I want to be kissing you. I'm so excited to see you tomorrow, and hopefully we can sneak away for a kiss if you feel the same way. XOXOXO, Merrick. You put Merrick's note away. Dear Chant, it's so cold here. Let's heat things up together. Bane. There's no doubt Bane wrote that one. Wherever you're going, wherever we're going, I'll need something warm at first, though. Not my cup of tea. I can't hear him. Well, I got ready even quicker than I expected. You decide to take a few spare minutes to admire the stunning view from one of the windows in the hotel lobby. Hey, good to see you, Chance. I've barely seen you since we got to Canada. Hi, Jenna. What'd you do yesterday? I explored around the town and eventually found my way into a little cafe. They had a piano just sitting there being neglected, so I had to give it some attention. And that doesn't surprise me at all. Kai sees you and joins the two of you by the window. Hi guys, taking in this awesome view of are you? Yeah, it's stunning. You see the pathways over there? Kai points to a walking trail that leads up to a gentle slope towards a mountain. Yeah, it looks like a hiking trail. It is, and it's one that I've done before. I'd love to go on, go with you on a trail like that. I'd love to take you. You seem like great company for a hike. Thanks, so do you. You seem to know this area well, too. We could even have a romantic picnic. Callie, we gotta do this sometime. Hiking up there would be so nice. I find experiences like that so inspiring. I could see you hiking it and then writing a song about it, about the experience, Jana. Me, too. Great idea, guys. Well, I guess I know what I'm doing today. Hey, girl, you want some company? Sure thing. I shouldn't be jealous you two are so close, should I? Whoa, it's not like that, Chance. Definitely not, just friends. You've got nothing to worry about. I didn't really think so either, but I appreciate the reassurance. I'm just a little surprised you got, you can be good friends since you both you're both interested in the same guy. We've built a strange camar camaraderie. Camaraderie, whatever, around that. 
yeah, we kind of get where the other woman is coming from. Also, we seem to be the two most chill contestants, so there's that too. Yeah, the show isn't getting much drama value out of us. Well, I gotta get... I better go pack some snacks. Great to see you, Chance. Have a nice hike. Hey, Chance, before I go, I just want to say that I really admire how you've taken to this place. This place is amazing. How could I not like it? Not everyone sees it that way. I just feel like I would be lucky to end up with someone like you. Someone who looks at a... Who looks at a win- looks at a window and appreciates it all? I never even thought that was a, a unique quality. Well, it is to me, and I could see us going on adventures together and just looking into your beautiful eyes and seeing this sense of wonder. Anyways, I better get going. Have a great day, Chance. You were told to meet Bane at a nearby shopping mall and you set off to meet him there. Hi Bane, so what are we going to do today? We're going to do some shopping, obs. Sounds good. What did you think of the game we played last night, Chance? It was good to see everybody. Yeah, it was a pretty good time. I like that we got to play my game. Bane, that was a lot of fun. Crazy but fun. Hey, nobody fell off the mountain, so it's all good, right? Bane leads you into into a boutique clothing store. So I have a few outfits to try on for the other part of our date tonight. Oh, and what are we doing tonight? We're hitting the clubs. It's going to be awesome. Sounds fun. Okay, so here's here are the options. This is the first one. Here comes the second one. I like the first one. Very fitting on you. Glad you like it. Awesome. So I'm glad you agreed to come on this date. Sometimes it seems like I'm too much for you. Then other times it seems like you like the way I am. To be real, so be real. How do you feel about me so far? Sometimes you are a little too much, to be honest. It's so, it's too bad you can't handle me. I think we could have a lot of fun. It's just that you're a little over the top sometimes. What's the point of life if you can't be loud and proud once in a while? So I need your help in picking out another outfit. Okay, sure. I'm so glad you agreed to help. Okay, so here's, here are the options. This is the first one. Here comes the second one. I like the first one better. Glad you like it. Not that I'm really complaining, but why do you want me to help you pick out sexy clothes? No reason. Anyways, we should get going. I got us a resi at a nice restaurant. Awesome, let's go. I really like this place, Bane. Glad you're impressed, babe. It's supposed to be the best in Banff. Hi, I'm Lana. Can I take your orders? I'll have the vinaigrette salad. I'll have... What the hell? These people here got here after me. I'm sorry, sir. It looked like you got here right after them. I'll be right with you, though. Look 
bitch. I'm not in the mood to wait around. I didn't come all the way to Canada for crappy service on my vacay. Sorry, folks. I'm just sick of idiot waitresses. You know what I mean. That is no way to talk to a woman, to a waitress, or frankly, to a human. You need to leave right now. Look, I was... You were being an abusive asshole. You need to get the fuck out of here now. And congrats, you look like a douche on national television. We're being filmed, genius. Are you okay? Sadly, it's not the first time. I think Ryan comes here to yell at me more than the food. That's awful. What a jerk. I have some other names for him. I really appreciate what you did just now. I feel like he might not risk coming back in here for quite a while. Maybe even until the end of his trip. I think you're right. Excuse me, I'll be back in a moment. Thanks again. Bane, that was such a turn on. You kicked ass. Thanks, babe. Glad you like my fiery side. No one should be treated like that. You're right, and you made that crystal clear. I knew you had my back, too. I was going to step in, but you had that situation seriously under control already. Why do we just switch sides? Anyways, let's enjoy our dinner. We need to... No need to let assholes ruin our night, right? You're right. So have you had to do this kind of thing before, Bane? Actually, I have. It was a pretty bad period of my life, actually. My sister used to date this guy who was abusive with her. Oh, I'm so sorry, Bane. That's awful. It was, and he would yell at her and call her terrible things in front of me. He didn't hit her, but sometimes the emotional abuse can be just as bad. For sure. My sister started believing his bullshit lies about how everything was her fault and just kind of shut down. I started getting more angry at even though I was young and it scared the hell out of me. I stood up to him. He got so mad at me one time that he threatened to slap me. That w kind of woke my sister out of her haze enough to kick him out. I helped get her connected to a place that helps women leave abusive relationships and be safe. She actually managed to leave him. Ben, I'm so sorry you and your sister had to go through that. But I really admire that you got your sister help and, and that she left. Thanks, Chance. Wow, the mood got so heavy in here. We can't have this. Okay, it's okay, Bane. I know, I just want to get back to the fun of slowly seducing you via my amazing date. The rest of your dinner with Bane is pleasant and without any further incidents. You make your way back to the hotel so you can get ready for the club. Ready to dance? This is great, Bane. I've been under some stress lately. Then dancing is exactly what you need. Time to kick it up a notch. I'm going to go get us a drink. Sounds good. Thanks, Bane. I think that was Lana from the restaurant. Looks like she's going to talk to Bane. 
You see Lana chatting with Bane. You can just make out what they are saying from where you stand. Hey there. Oh, hey, Lana. Coming to blow off some steam, too? Actually, I just couldn't stop thinking about what you did back at the restaurant. Hey, it was no big deal. He had it coming. To me, it was a big deal. If I'm being honest, it's more that I can't stop thinking about you. I thought maybe I could repay you with a dance and maybe more if you're interested. Hey, Lana. Bane and I are on a date right now. I know. You just served us at the restaurant, so I know you know. Not cool, Lana. I'm really sorry. Look, I know you've had a crappy day because of Ryan, but you need to leave and let it... Let us to go... Ooh. Back to our date. You're right. Just do me a favor, okay? What's that? Don't underestimate how amazing it is to find someone who is willing to stand up for you. I'm not sure if I should be pissed at, that you didn't trust me to shoot her down myself or to be impressed that you are so into me that you wanted to fight off potential competition. I'm hoping you choose to go with your second interpretation. It was pretty sexy watching you get all feisty over me. Well, now that we're done with the random getting hit on during our date portion of the evening, let's dance some more. Yeah. Hey, are you a maple tree? Because I'd tap you. You have three seconds to get the hell away from my date. Well, I guess that's how you handle random people hitting on me. If things got my w go my way, you're mine, Chance. And hell, if some douche with a terrible pickup line is getting in my way. Want to get out of here? Sure, Bane. We're following your plan today. Bane asked the driver to take you both back to the hotel. He asks you to walk him to his room and to help carry some. Thanks for helping me back to my room, Chance. No problem, Bane. Before you go, I just have to show you something interesting. Um, okay. One sec. Uh, Bane, I like where this is going. Good, because I got you a little something at the store. Go look over at, by the little table. You'll find a few things I picked out for you. You find three skimpy outfits to choose from. That is not skimpy. Ooh. Oh, kinky. Here, I thought I was the bad influence. I want you so bad, Chance. Shall we take this to the bed? Yes, I want you too, Bane. I'm so glad you said that. Aren't you going to lay down too? Not so fast. First, I get to tease you. At Bane's request, the camera crew leave and turn off the lights on their way out. Bane starts by caressing your hair and then your cheek. He glides his hand over your neck and slowly over your chest. You feel yourself relax at his soft touch. He brings his head down to kiss you passionately on your lips, then your neck, then lower. He starts off slow and teasing, but then, then things get fiery and tense and passionate. That's the Bane you've come to know. You feel waves of pleasure as Bane playfully pins you to the bed. You are all his in this moment and he relishes every second of it. 
He takes you over the edge at the exact moment he wants it to happen. Afterwards, still ting- tangled up together and exhausted, you fall asleep for a little while. As you head back from Bane's room to yours, you hear the sound of footsteps ahead. You look in the direction of the noise and you catch a glimpse of a figure swiftly turning around the corner of the hall. You notice that in the person's hand they have what looks like a small camera, not like the ones the crew uses, but they're gone too quickly to get a really good look at.